what you're going to see on the inside. The show is just starting, it's just commencing. The price of admission is 25 cents a quarter, one fourth of a dollar. Now, don't go home and have to tell your friends and neighbors that you haven't seen the great, the famous 10 in 1 show, featuring the famous Kai McGee dancing girls. How many, brother? Where's Slim Phillips? Slim Phillips is on the inside. Uh. Gabby, you old son of a gun. Slim. You old rattlesnake. Doggone, Gabby, you haven't changed a bit. You're damn tootin' I ain't, and I'm just as full of fight as ever. What are you doing back here? Business. You remember Sue, don't you? Hello, Mr. Phillips. Not little Susie Farnham. <laughs> well, yes. you're all grown up. <laughs> Say, I was terribly sorry to hear about your father. What happened to the circus after he passed away? Well, it's in winter quarters now at the ranch. That's one of the reasons we're here, Slim. We need your help. Some place we can go and talk? Of course, right inside. You'll see also Moroccan Moment, an exotic review participated in by real Moroccan women. That's enough for nothing now, folks. Don't be bashful. Step up and get your tickets right now. Of course I remember your father borrowing money from Ripley, but I also remember him paying it back. Well, we can't find no proof it was paid. Unless we do, Sue ain't got no circus, no ranch, no nothing. What's the matter, Unc? Oh, hello. Oh, my niece, Patty. This is Gabby Whitaker. I do, ma'am. Hello. And Sue Farnham. Hello, Patty. It's nice knowing you. Same here. Sue's father and I used to be partners. It's too bad you didn't stay partners. We wouldn't be in this fix. Say, you've got an idea. Pee Wee, how'd you like to go to California? California? You mean you might go back with us? Huh? Well, if I'm on the right track, we might have a surprise in store for this Mr. Ripley. This show closes here Saturday night anyway. Oh, on California, movie stars, cowboy palm trees. Miss Sue Farnham. Yes. Telegram, miss. Thank you. Anything important? It's from Bill Ripley. He says he'll meet us at the station. Big hearted, isn't he? I've been thinking, Gabby. Maybe you better not tell Ripley why I'm here. I won't. Come to think of it, you didn't even tell me. How are you figuring on outsmarting that polecat, Slim? Well, I don't want to get Sue's hopes up until I'm sure, but I think we ought to be able to find that receipt somewhere. You know how Tom Farnham was about business. Probably didn't even have the payment recorded. Next stop, Cabrillo. It's a big place, isn't it, Mr. Ripley? You can't even see it all from here. <laughs> Is everybody all right? Oh, yes. We're just fine, thank you. Say, you're, you're not Roy Rogers. That's right, ma'am. Oh, gee, I think you're wonderful, Mr. Rogers. I see all your pictures. Gee, the way you galloped in there and grabbed those horses. Oh, Well, my I'm glad gosh. nobody's hurt. <laughs> you know, you never can tell about accidents. Sometimes the shock sets in later. Now, if there's anything I can do, I'd... Thank you, Mr. Rogers. We need you. I'll let you know. Should we go? Take it up, Roy. They want to take it again. What do you think of that? I never even got her name. You never... Oh, my. Come on, or we'll never finish.
Andy, I wonder who put the tent up? I don't know. Well, uh, oh, thanks for the lift, Bill. It's always a pleasure. You gonna be with us long, Mr. Phillips? Well, I can't say as yet. Well, anyway, I'll see you before you go. You probably will. Well, I'll be seeing you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. But what is this all about? We've rented the show to a movie outfit. Yeah, they're making a picture right here. Yeah, and we're all working in it. And who do you think the star is? Roy Rogers. Yeah, well, we figured you wouldn't mind. They're paying us pretty good. Gosh, what's the name of the picture? Bells of Rosarita. You ought to see that big Spanish set they built alongside the creek. Ah, them phony movie cowboys. Even muscling in on us here. Yeah, but they're finishing up today. That's why we're rehearsing. We've got to get the last scene in the picture. Oh, Gabby, I suppose it's all right. Oh, uh, this is Mr. Phillips and his niece, Patty. Oh, yeah. 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 Patty. We'd better go in and clean up. We'll see you later. Come on over and watch us act. Why do that. Bye. 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 All right, in a little bit. That's good. Now move that other reflector over. Get out of here, will you? Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a surprise. Hello, Mr. Rogers. Hello, Miss... Uh... That's Sue Farnham, and I'm Patty Phillips. Gee, we're glad you met us. I mean, we're glad to meet you. We just came out here to watch. I hope you don't mind. We're tickled to death. Glad to have you. Now, Miss Farnham, if you... Come on, Roy. Uh, oh, hiya. Hello, oh, though, Mr. McDonald's yelling... Take his... it easy, Bob. We're having a barbecue tonight, and it sure would be swell if you could come over. Oh, sure. We'll be glad to, won't we, Sue? Well... That's fine. We'll be expecting you. All right, roll it. Action! <laughs>
heaven on her face, sweet as an angel from the skies. Her lips hold a smile, but her heart is breaking all the while, and teardrops fill her eyes. The bells of Time doesn't wait, still perhaps before it is too late, she may find what she's dreaming Fine, boys. I'm a fan, too, Rogers. That was a good scene. I'll have to see this picture. Oh, thanks. I hope you do. By the way, I understand one of your men said you were interested in some ranch property in this neighborhood. <laughs> well, hell, I've always wanted a ranch. I thought while I was up here, I'd kind of look around. Well, I'm going to put this place on the market in a couple of weeks. Oh, is this your place? Well, practically, I'm going to take it over. Oh, now, now, Roy, what do you want with a ranch? You, 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 you know I'm allergic to horses, and besides, you've got a nice place already. Well, in case you're interested. Well, thanks. I'll think it over. Excuse me. Say, what did he mean about selling this place anyway? Gosh, I hope it ain't true. and play that guitar. How about a little jitterbugging, boy? Come on. You asked for it, Patty. There's nothing like the morning feeling fresh as the dew when you're going where the staters to behold. The cows are in the meadow and they give me the mood as I go singing down the road. My little dog is tagging right along at my heels. He's so happy that he's hopping like a toad. And trigger he's a prancing cause he knows how I feel as I go singing down the road. The sun is grand, my face is tanned, and I'm so carefree and gay. And as I hike, I feel just like a school kid for a day. 
And when my day is over, there's a girl I'm to meet. You see, but that's another episode. My heart and I are stacking up, but dreams kind of neat. As I go singing, singing down the road. Charlie, I'm Mr. What's Phillips. The, what's the matter? What's, what's the trouble? matter? Who were they, Charlie? Well, I didn't get a good look at him, but I was coming around the corner just as they were dragging him out of the house. I ran after him, but they started shooting. Come on, boys. Somebody jimmy this one. Same here. Let's get the horses. Car! Let's get the car started. Let's get to the car. We'll never catch them now. We might if we get them before they reach the highway. But why would anyone want to kidnap my uncle? I don't know, Patty. Might as well go back and let the sheriff handle it. Yeah, might as well. Well, thanks for trying anyway, boys. Well, that's a serious charge, Sue. Bill Ripley ain't exactly the kidnapping type. I didn't say he did it, Sheriff, but he's the only one who had a motive. Well, if it'll make you feel any better, I'll have a talk with him. Thank you, sir. Shug, you sure they didn't get Gabby? Well, when Charlie saw him, they only had Mr. Phillips. If I only had Gabby here to talk to. Gabby! Oh, he's hurt! Bless your heart. Oh, I have a shot. Oh, they got me. Somebody get a doctor. Look, I'm bleeding to death. Looks to oh. me like strawberry jam. Yeah. Strawberry jam? Well, don't stand there like a bunch of idiots. Get me a handful of crackers. <laughs> I'll get them critters if it's the last thing I ever do. Better snap it up, Roy. Crew's waiting for us. I was just thinking about last night, Bob. There's something funny about those men making off with Phillips. I wonder why they took him. <laughs> Who knows? Whatever it was, it's none of our business. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Hello, young fellas. Come on in. Hello. Hi, Roy. Uh, hello, Jimmy. What can we do for you gentlemen? Oh, nothing. We just heard you were leaving and dropped over to say goodbye. Oh, gee, that's mighty nice of you. Well, bye, Roy. Oh, bye. Bye. So long, Eddie. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, Tommy. So long, fellas. <laughs> Is there anything else we can do for you? Well, uh, uh it's, yes. Uh, we just wonder if you sing that song about Texas before you go. You mean now? Yes, sir, right now. All right. Get me a guitar, Bob. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, around Texas, way around Texas. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, so they can't steal my baby away. She's the lovingest baby around Texas, around Texas, around Texas. And the fellas all know it in Texas, that's the reason I worry each day. Hello, hello, Fetch that lumber pile it high, gonna build it to the sky. Hello, hello, Big job to do, I know, but she's mighty sweet and so. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, around Texas, way around Texas. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, so they can't steal my baby away. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, around Texas, around Texas. Gonna build a big fence around Texas, so they can't steal your baby away. She's the loveliest baby around Texas. Around Texas, around Texas, and the fellas all know it in Texas. That's the reason you worry each day. 
She's got that Texas sun shining her smile. Thrills the cowboy, kills the cowboy. She's got those lone star moonbeams in her eyes. See what I'm up against. My troubles have just commenced. Go to the big fence around Texas, around Texas, around Texas. Go to build a big fence around Texas, so they can't steal my baby away. Well, thanks a lot, boys. That was fine. So long. Uh huh. I knew you were up to something. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long, fellas. Goodbye. What's on your minds, boys? Well, we've seen all your pictures, Roy. They're super. Especially that last one. Oh, you mean the one where I come crashing through the roof and I... Yeah, that's the one. That was sure swear where you go out and capture the guy who's trying to take the ranch away from the girl. Boy, if you hadn't come along, I guess she'd have lost the ranch, wouldn't she? Well, I guess you would, all right. Yeah, well, it's been nice seeing you fellas. Now, if you'll... Uh, uh, they're waiting for us downstairs, so if you... If you... We've been thinking, Roy. Well, come on out with it, Jimmy. Well, as long as you're already here, we was thinking maybe if you'd help Sue and us, she wouldn't lose her ranch, just like in the picture. Now, look, fellas, that's, uh, that's just in the picture. It's all make-believe. Roy and I are actors. We only save the ranch because, because the script says so. Now, if Hold it, Bob. You mean that somebody really is trying to take her ranch away from her? The ranch and the circus and everything. Roy, will you please? You boys run on back to the ranch. Bob and I will come up later. I don't know what we can do for you, but we'll sure try anyway. You mean you'll help? You mean you try to do something? Sure. Oh, gee, oh, yes, Roy, Roy. Thanks a million. See you later, bye, boys. Bye, bye, bye. bye. I'm sorry, Sue, but we've been over every foot of the desert within 10 miles of here, and there isn't a trace of him. Sure beats me how he got swallowed up like that. Well, thank you anyway, Roy. I guess there just isn't much anyone can do. Mr. Raggy, I owe you an apology. Kids told me what you've done, and now I know you ain't just a hero on the screen. You fellas will have me. I'd, I'd kind of like join up. Well, thanks, Gabby. We'd be glad to have you. You know, I'm a rootin', tootin', shootin' cowhand. And my trigger finger's just itching to get even with them varmints. Careful, Scotty. You'll tear that canvas. Ah, uh, what's the difference? We won't own it after this week. Is it as bad as that? I'm afraid it is, Roy. Sue, I wish you'd let me... Thank you, Roy. We'll pull through somehow. If these were the good old days, we could heist the big top up anywhere and make money enough to pay off that skunk Ripley. Why don't you? <laughs> These aren't the good old days. Well, then we had more than just a tent and a few props. We had a show to go with it. Big names, big acts. Say, could you have this tent up in Cabrilla by tomorrow night? What do you mean? I mean, could you be ready to put on a show if you had a show and someone to attract customers? Well, I don't... Gabby, what do you think? You're darn tootin' we could. We'll hold everything. When the circus came to town, all the clowns were tumbling down. The tigers roared, the lions looked bored, and the man in the back yelled, Peanut, lemonade, popcorn, and cracker jack, the pies and eating in every pack. Oh, the monkey got away, grabbed the man by his toupee. The old folks smiled, the kids went wild, and the man in the back yelled, Peanut, lemonade, popcorn, and cracker jack, the pies and eating in every pack. The acrobats gave us a fright. You closed your eyes and held me tight. Someone laughed, we turned to see. The crowd was laughing at you and me. But we didn't even care when they all began to stare. We hugged and squeezed, the elephant sneezed, and the man in the back yelled, Peanut, lemonade, popcorn, and cracker jack, the prize in each and every pack. When the circus came to town, What's the matter, Sheriff? You're all under arrest, Rogers. I told you there were no circus parades allowed in this town. Oh, but this isn't a circus parade. Then what do you call it? This here's a funeral procession. 
You're trying to be funny. Funeral procession? Who's dead? Poor Oscar. Back there in the bandwagon. I suppose you've got a burial certificate. Yes, sir. Signed and sealed by the doctor. Everything's in order. A duck? So you see, Sheriff, this isn't a circus parade after all. The only reason we were playing this kind of music is because, well, Oscar loved it so well. It was the poor critter's dying wish. He says to me just before he laid down, Gabby, he says, says he, no sad and sorrowful music when I'm gone. I want folks to be happy and gay-like. Them was his very words, Tom. Shall, shall we go ahead with the burial ceremony? I better wait outside and keep watch? Nobody will be around. They're all up at the circus grounds. It's gonna be a sweet job trying to find a receipt in here. Never mind that. Check the trunk. I'll go through the desk. Gabby, the car looks familiar. Kind of looks like the one them fellas use when they snatch Phillips. Hey, somebody's coming. Looking for you. How'd you know he was here? Went up to circus grounds and they told us that. Uh... I see. Hey, Rogers, wondered if you're still interested in the place. Heard you can leave in a couple of days and thought we'd better drop down. Oh, this is Mr. Maxwell. Howdy. Hi. Hello there. As a matter of fact, Mr. Ripley, I have been thinking about this ranch. If you've got a couple of minutes, I'd like to talk to you about it. All the time in the world. Well, we're going in the house and pick up a couple of things. We'll be back in a minute. Right ahead. What are you talking about? You're not thinking of Bob. I've got a hunch they're up to something. When they leave here, they're a sense to talk about it. And you're going to listen in to what they have to say. How am I going to do that? Get into the back of the car and ride with them. <laughs> Roy, you've been seeing too many movies. Now listen, Bob, I thought you wanted to help. Well, sure I want to help. Okay. I'll get him away from the car. Gab, you give him a hand. The boys are getting their things together. Now, Mr. Ripley, what kind of a deal are you prepared to offer? Well, I hadn't exactly set a price. I'd like to show you around. Well, let's go. Come on. Let me go sit you, Bob. I'm more fit, I tell you. No, no, no. Roy wouldn't like it. And besides, this is a job for you. Well, I'm younger than look. I got all the fire of flaming youth. Sorry, Gabby. I'm going to have to refuse you. You can't refuse me. Me, Gabby Whitaker? that stopped a herd of stampeding cattle all by myself. There was thousands of them coming right at me. In front of them was a wild bull. What do you suppose had done? What did you do, Gabby? I just stood there calm like and throwed the bull. You thought... Look, I got it. Look, look, look. I, 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 I'll choose you, fair and square. Now then. The one that gets the straw stays here. Look, Roy told me that I had to do it, and I'm going... I'm going to give you the best of it. I'm going to give you the first choice. Go ahead. Go on. Man that gets a straw stays.
gee, I didn't realize it was so late. I'm afraid we're going to have to make it another time. Suppose I get in touch with you in the morning. That'll be fine. All right. Well, see you in the morning, then. Thanks for coming over. I'll mention it. Hiya, boss. Hello, boss. Where you got him? He's out in the back, tied up. How long we got to keep this guy here? Till I find the paper I'm looking for. If this Phillips knows where it is, maybe we can make him talk. That's just what I don't want you to do. If he finds out why he was snatched, it'll tie me in with it. I've got to be kept out of this thing, understand? Sure, we understand, but what are you going to do with him after you find what you're looking for? I don't know yet, but all you got to worry about is keeping him here. I'll let you know later. That's the way you want it. be some crooks around here. Yeah. How do you like that? You mean that all the time you were in the back end of that car, you didn't hear a thing? Well, I could hear the motor roaring. I can still hear that dad blame thing. And you haven't any idea where they took you. Let him alone, Bob. You had no business letting him go in the first place. I asked you to go. I know, Roy, but, well, we drew straws for it, fair and square. Hey, there was one place where there must have been a 20-foot drop. That's where I got this bump on my noggin. I'll bet that was the old dry wash. Yes, sir, that's the way they went. Well, let's go and see if we can pick up their trail. I ought to be able to do it. I can remember ever. Oh, oh, bump. Well, here are their tracks, all right. Looks like the track's paid out here. Say, Gabby, do you remember if the car went straight ahead after you came through the wash, or did it make a turn? Oh, I couldn't say. I bounced around too darn much. I see now. I do remember a few minutes later, we must have passed close to a skunk. And I mean close. Fee, you eat. That ought to be an easy scent to pick up. Yeah, well, let's fan out and see what we can find. Hey, Gabby! Here's our spot. Yeah, Critter's been here all right, and recently. 
Here's the tracks again. Hey, heading for that ridge yonder. This is it. The old mine shaft around the corner. Why in tarnation didn't I think of that before? Well, let's leave our horses here and go on foot. There may be trouble. Try a shot through that window. Just for sight. Oh, hold it, Gabby. If Phillips is in there, you might hit him. Well, we just can't stand around and see all the shooting one sided, can we? Well, we're just in time for supper anyway. They got a fire going in there. I was just noticing that. in the picture once. you find out? For one thing, Lawson and Goss haven't talked yet. And as far as the sheriff knows, it was just a kidnapping job. I did a little snooping around that circus tent, too. Phillips was talking to the girl, and from what I could make out, that receipt you're looking for is in the vault over at the bank. That means they'll be at the bank the first thing in the morning. Unless we, uh... Herdin' cowboy, hop on your pony, singin' ho. Helio, helio. Start ridin' now, boy, we'll make San Antonio singin' ho. Helio, helio. Long weary days and a dusty road to travel, but we'll make the boss pay for all this battle driving cattle. Light-hearted, carefree, trail herdin' cowboy, singin' ho. Helio, helio. Keep moving, doggies. Time is a waste and singing ho. Helio, helio. I'm not impatient, but why don't you hasten singing ho? Helio, helio. You ought to know that a certain someone's waiting. You ought to know that to captivate and confiscate and arms will enfold this trail herding cowboy singing ho. Helio, helio. One little doggie strayed from his mother singing ho. The place is packed and we're still selling tickets. I don't know where we're going to put them all. Well, gee, that's swell. You don't know what this means to me. Maybe after the excitement's all over, I can, well, think of some way to tell you how grateful I am. It's nice to be here, Sue. Well, I'm glad Roy asked me. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun.
They've just blown the bank vault. There were about six of them. They shot one of the sheriff's men and took off cross country. Well, gang, if we were making a picture right here, it's for somebody to holler X. Let's well, go! Right. Right. Gabby, you get the show started, and we'll be back as soon as we can. How do you know you'll be back? Come on, Gabby, it's time to start the show. They can't leave me behind. Get somebody else to start the show. I'll bring them back single-handed. Oh. <laughs> Got the gas tank. Hey, look. We haven't a chance. Scatter. Let's take them, boys. They're racing. One to a man. damage with those blanks. All right, come on out. We got you covered.
Get up on your feet. I'm sorry I had to do that. As a rule, I'm a peace-loving man. Get out of here. Here's what I've been looking for. Come on, get up there on the horse. Man. Well, here they are, Sheriff. Well, I'll be doggone. Say, Roy, this is just like one of your movies. Yeah, Roy, but your pictures always finish with music. Holy mackerel, the show. Come on, boys. Sheet was somewhere. <laughs> All right, stand by, boys. Introducing tonight's biggest attraction, Republic's great Western stars. And here they come. Sunset Carson riding Silver, Don Barry riding Cyclone, Bob Livingston riding Shamrock. Alan Lane riding Banner. Wild Bill Elliott riding Thunder. And Roy Rogers riding Trigger. A prize in each and every pack. Oh, the monkey got away. Got a man by his toupee. The old folks smiled, the kids went wild, and the man in the back yelled, Peanuts, lemonade, popcorn, and cracker jack. A prize in each and every pack. When the circus came to town. Thank you. 